Hey what is up everyone this is Abhishek from Motion Nations and in today's video we are going to take a look how to create this glowy particle logo reveal animation in After Effects. So before I jump right into After Effects I want you to please subscribe to my channel and please support me on patreon.com the link is in the description below. So now we are in After Effects, let's create a new composition. Let's call this logo reveal and make sure the height and width are 1920 by 1080 frame rate 30 fps and duration you can go with 5 seconds. Click OK. Now let's create a new solid. Let's apply a gradient ramp to it. So you can use the effects control to access the effects or you can simply type in this effects and preset panel. Let's add a gradient ramp to it. Swap the colors, make sure it is a radial one. And change the colors to something like this. Maybe a little bit lighter in the center and darker at the edges looks good for now now let's add our logo to this composition scale it down so that it fits the comp and let's hide the background now we are going to create a mask for this logo and how we are going to do that is by simply selecting this layer and select the pen tool then if you zoom in just simply draw a rectangle over here which is right now not on the top of this logo so it is kind of off and if you move your mask points and you can see that the logo is revealing so we will animate this mask to create that reveal effect so how we are going to do is simply selecting this layer press M on keyboard to open the mask path let's add a keyframe to it now move 10 frames and let's move these points to slowly reveal our logo so we can move our points something like this and now let's again move 10 frames by pressing the page shift and page down key and now we will add a pointer or marker over here like this and we will make sure that our logo is now curving and we have to follow the path so let's keep on doing that something like this and let's again move 10 frames add another point you can adjust the marker so that the whole logo is revealing not anything is not hidden like that now let's move it over here and let's place it right here so again move 10 frames then add a point over here just simply move it to reveal the complete logo maybe just add a one more point over here and let's just reveal the complete logo like this so if you play back we can see that our logo is now revealing very nicely. Now we will easy ease these keyframes, select all these, press F9 on the keyboard. Then go to the graph editor but before that let's select these three keyframes which are in the middle. Then go to right click and go to row across time 
and if you go to the graph editor you can see that we have these three dots over here now if we select one of these dots and just simply move it a little bit above like this you can see that the graph changes its position and if we do the same thing with this one and same thing with this one also something like this so that our graph is looking kind of like this and if we play back you can see that we have this really nice easing on this graph and our logo is revealing so now we will add a white glow to it so how we are going to do is by simply duplicating this and let's move the top layer few frames forward something like this and let's select the bottom layer and apply a glow effect to it but before that let's apply a fill effect to it so that its color is white and let's drag it on top of it now let's change its color to white and if you play back you can see that we have this really nice kind of white stroke following our logo reveal and now let's apply glow to it and let's change the glow radius to maybe like 600 also let's do one more thing let's select both the layers and press F to reveal the mask feather and let's add a keyframe to both of these properties and let's set the value to 100 and when the animation completes let's change it back to 0 something like this so that we do not have these harsh edges we have this smooth feathery edge when the logo is revealing so let's add more glow by simply duplicating this glow effect by pressing the ctrl d and let's change the glow radius to maybe like 100 also glow intensity to like 0.7 or 6 so this is now looking really nice and if we reveal our background so now we have this really nice kind of glowy logo reveal so our next step is to add some particles to it so let's create a new solid layer new solid and let's apply an effect called cc particle system 2 and let's play around with the settings so first thing we have this birth rate so what this defines it it tells how many particles will be like generated so if we change it to zero you can see that no particles are generated and if we go super crazy and you can see that we have this really crazy particle effect going on so let's lower its value to maybe like two and let's add a keyframe for that so we want uh, birth rate to start from 2 and as the animation ends we want it to become 0 now let's play with the producer and let's add keyframe for the position now we will animate these particles as the lower reveal happens so how we are going to do is we are we will start it from here and let's move this keyframe over here so as the logo reveals we want our particles to follow it so how we are going to do is by simply dragging this position make sure to have this keyframe option on so that it creates keyframe for each point and as the logo reveal goes we want different points something like this and at the end we want our particles to move completely to the top so that we have something like this let's select these and press f9 to easy ease them maybe let's play with the physics part and let's change the velocity to 0.1 
also gravity to zero uh, resistance you can go with any value between 8 to 15 let's go with 10 right now and if you play back you can see that we have these really nice particles so let's play with these x radius and change it to 10 now let's go to these particles and we will add the keyframes for both the colors so when the animation starts we want them to be this bright pink so let's add keyframe for that and you can see that right here we have these purple color for the logo so let's select that and at the end we have this really nice bright blue color so let's go with that and if you play back you can see that right now we have these particles which are emitting the colors from our logo so let's play around with few other options let's change the mode from normal to add and if you play back you can see that we have these really nice particles going on so also let's change the longevity to maybe like 1.5 something something like this or maybe one okay one looks good so let's add some glow to it so let's search for the glow effect and apply onto these particles and set the radius to maybe like 250 and you can duplicate it by pressing ctrl d on the keyboard so that we have these really nice glowy particles and there is one really cool tip that you can change the particle type and have different looks for this reveal so if we select the particle type you can see we can have these really nice stars and you can play around with the size so something like this you can see now the logo is revealing with the help of these stars also there are a few other really nice options so if we go with this bubble option you can see that we have these really nice bubbles effect kind of going on you can play around with these parameters and you can go with different looks however you want okay maybe not this one and let's try the cube one okay this looks good so here you can see that now our animation is happening with the help of these cubes maybe we can go or change the size okay this looks good so you can see that there are a lot of different options and you can play around with them and create some really nice effect to these let's go with this dry polygon and here you can see that we have this really nice logo reveal with some particles showing off so this is how you guys can create these particle logo reveals in after effects and you have to do this for your logo and animate the path and after that simply just add some particles and animate them as the logo reveal goes and just simply make sure the layer is additive so that the colors are really nice and bright so you can play around with these settings also so let's change the mode to normal and we have this different look which is really nice but i think this add one looks really nice with this animation so this is how you guys can animate any logo in after effects all you have to do is just simply mask out the logo and then animate it and after that apply some really nice particles and glow to it and this is how you guys can create these kind of animations so i hope you guys learned something from this tutorial and if you guys have any other query or questions you can ask in the comments below also don't forget to mention what you want to learn in the next tutorial so that's it for this video this is abhishek and i'll see you in the next one